So like I said, I'm just going to be going through the settings I use. So let's move straight to the movie tab. As you can see, um, I use the default settings. This is ticked and I also use a different codec. So when you first run DxTory, you'll be using the DxTory video codec, but I will provide both links to DxTory and the Lagerath Lossus codec in the description of this video for you to easily click and uh, set it up. So first of all, let's just go through this. So you have to select the Lagerath Lossus code um, and click the show configuration dialog box of the codec. This is like basically just settings. So um, we have to use multi-threading and I use the YV12. It's the smallest files, also the better quality files. So just pick those and you should be good. So click OK. Now you can either record at 30 FPS or 60 FPS. YouTube now uh, is has approved both. They use it used to only have 30 FPS, but now that they've upgraded to 60 FPS, I highly recommend that you do record in that. So that's what I record in. Of course, I've got file output selected along with AVI. I think raw cap that would produce a massive file. So let's not do that. Now I don't do any clipping or changing the margin or anything like that. The only thing I do is I size my video down to 1280 by 720. Um, I don't record in 1920 by 1080 because my computer can't handle it and it doesn't. I'd, I'd rather record at 60 FPS and 1280p instead of 30 FPS and 1080p. So I've had to make that sacrifice there, but I still get amazing quality as you can see in my, uh, in my videos. And I also include the mouse cursor here. So that's it for the movie settings tab. Let's just move on to the audio. Now, as you may know, DxTory, um, you can split the files once you have recorded a video. So that's really good because that means I don't have to record my audio in a different program. I can just record my audio and my gameplay audio in the one video. And then at the end of recording, I can just split the files so I can edit each file correctly. So what I usually do is I record the two audios. So I've got my speakers and I've got my my microphone, I have my speakers set to the number one because what happens is the video has a sound file attached to it already and that would be the number one file. So I'd rather have my game sounds attached to the video and my mic sounds being in the number two, the one that I'm extracting from. So um, instead of having to disable the mic settings in my editing software, I just I, ha I have it set to my game sound, so it, it just makes it a lot easier. I highly recommend that you have the number two as your as your microphone. So I record my audio codec um, as a PCM and at 48 hertz, and the same with my microphone at 48 hertz uh, PCM as well. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys understood that. Um, I was going to do a bit more of an in-depth video, but I think I'll just leave it for now because I have a lot of other tutorials to show you guys, like how I stream, how I edit my audio, um, you know, how I edit my videos, everything like that. So hit that like button, guys, if it did help you, and have a good one, guys. See ya.